so my name is Paul. I work at the Military Preparation College or the Motivational Preparation College for Training. And I left in May last year. Uh, I've been out for just under a year. So in a nutshell, um, I realized that I was sleepwalking, as John says, to my camp gates, realizing I didn't know what I wanted to do after many years in the British Army. And really, I was grasping on any opportunity. So I approached him and said, John, I need some LinkedIn training because I had a LinkedIn profile. I didn't understand what it meant. And he reached out to me and together um, we created a LinkedIn profile. And result of that, because of the keywords and the right structure, and especially at the top, I was then hunted by an employer based on my LinkedIn. After that, he then asked to see my CV. And as he says, you do the work, but he gives you the guide. And then my CV, which I'd done work on the resettlement process, he moved it into the 21st, 22nd century. Once I send that CV into my future employer, that CV with the right keywords and the right language of the civilian sphere enabled me to have an interview after the interview window had closed. And it changed me from hoping to get a job and going, thank you for the job, to literally hunting. So they're hoping to hunting element. Uh, John then obviously worked on me on my interview techniques because after many years in the military, we do have chats, but we're not really trained to do interviews to that level. And our CVs or our OJARs or SJARs are not to the level you may experience outside. That interview technique I had with John enabled me to transform the interview with my future employer from asking me why they should give me the job and transformed it around to them encouraging me to join them, all from the valuable technique training provided by the FTG. And the last thing, networking. Now, every organization has a unique different set of processes, but what do we have that is common in every trade? Every organization, it is people. Service personnel are the masters of people. We may not feel it, we may not experience it, but we literally care about our people than so many other people. And that is our skill set. And if we can master the act of looking after our people, the process will work. You look after your people, the process is efficient, the profit comes. And that is the key turnaround from that. So I, uh, this is me coming to the end of that. You have so much value and you have so much experience that you don't realize the potential and value you own. And the path that you will create when you lead the forces is one of your journey and the FTG and these amazing people are F4, Force 4 with XMIL and they will enable you to see the true value you have to not say thank you for that job to really sell yourself. So LinkedIn, CV, interview techniques and definitely networking on LinkedIn, changing you from sleepwalking to literally driving out of that gate in the car of your choice and changing you from a hoping to a hunter. My name is Paul, I'll be in the green room, send me and I'll give you my trials and tribulations of leaving the forces after many years and how I'm thriving now. That's it for me.